Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video we have done one coding exercise. We have calculated the number of cans needed to paint a wall. In this video also we will do one more coding exercise. Now that is not so tough, we have to calculate, you have to find out the number is prime or not. So you have to define a function, you have to pass a number as an argument and you have to write down the logic to check the number is prime or not. So there are see many logics many ways, many approaches to find out the number is prime or not. But if you are a beginner, then obviously you will select, you will think, I guess, the normal one, it's okay. You will not consider that, uh, that optimization of the program as a important factor right now, it's okay. First write down the simple approach, then you can try out different, different approaches one by one. We'll be discussing two approaches in this video with the help of program I'll show you, but first you have to try this out, right? Now before that, just want to discuss with you something important, uh, something important especially important for those who are interested in making their career in data science or who are still confused about their career, which field they should choose, right? So see, data science is one of the fastest growing industry in the world right now, right? Because by 2026, data science industry is expected to generate 11.5 million jobs across the globe. So in this field, the opportunities for career growth are very high and even known IT people can apply. See, there are plenty of opportunities in this field, but not so many skilled professionals to fill this role. Because what matters in the industry today is in-demand skills, relevant and hands-on experience rather than just conventional degrees. So one of the best platform to get these in-demand skills is Audience School and their six-month data science bootcamp which would be started from 27th of May. So this data science bootcamp is perfect for anyone who wants to access industry aligned education at a reasonable price, as you can see, plus they have scholarship option of rupees 30K, up to rupees 30K. And no cost TMI option is also available, plus they have a discount of 10,000 rupees for early bird. And that's not it. It comes with proven placement records and 360 degree placement assistance. They have 500 plus hiring partners, the top tech companies like Accenture, Deloitte, Google and many more companies as you can see. And don't just go with my words, you can see their own success stories. See, this, there are many success stories as you can see here. One is Vishweswari and she is now a senior analyst at Capgemini and uh, she was a full-time mother and had a career gap of six years and now she is a senior analyst at Capgemini. So be it a career launch or career change or career growth. Data science has diverse opportunities for all the aspirants. So if you would like to kickstart your career in this field, join Odin School today. And what is the process to apply for this thing? You have to just fill out this detail and request a callback. So Odin School team will call you back in within one or two days. So you can ask your doubts if anything you have, right? So the registration link and all the relevant information you will get in the description box of this video, you can go and check out. Now let's pause the video and try out this program. Okay, so I hope you have done this. That was not so tough. So let's create a new file and try this out. It's prime number or you can say prime checker. Prime checker dot py. Right? Okay, so first thing we have to take a number input. Right? So suppose we are taking a variable n and they are using input function. We will take a number. Like enter a number fine and during this time only we will convert this into int because by default using input if you take so that number would be considered as string so type cast that and that would be in n so suppose we are creating a function like prime checker right and right now we are calling this function and we are passing this n to in, in this function prime checker n but still we haven't defined the function so let's define the function first before calling, you have to define the function, otherwise it will give error. It's not like that first we call and after that here we define the function. No, before you have to define the function before calling. So let's define this. Def and same name you have to take and here just a variable to accept this n, this number. Suppose we are taking number or same or you can take like n, n. That is also fine. Same variable name you can take, right? How to define them, how to check. See, we know one is not a prime number. It's a composite number, right? So how to check if suppose a number is like we have a number five. So how you will check it is a prime or not? 
for sure it will be divided by 1 and itself 1 and 5 that's what's but you have to find out any other factors so check if 5 is divisible by 2 then 5 is divisible by 3 5 is divisible by 4 till that number minus 1 right so if it is completely divisible like the remainder is 0 then yeah it is having the number is having other factors as well and it is not a prime number right so first thing you have to use modulo operator to check the remainder we have an operator modulo operator so 5 like 5 this is mode operator mode 2 equal to equal to 0 right like this then again we check 5 mode 3 then we check 5 mode 4 till 4 okay because we know 5 is divisible, divisible by 5 itself right so if number is 7 we check by divisible by 2 3 4 5 6 till that number minus 1 yeah it's very basic approach it's not so optimized approach to find out a prime number in case of if you consider that time complexity and space complexity okay but for beginner uh, for beginners i am discussing this approach right because if you are a beginner if you are a naive then obviously this approach would be in your mind rather than yeah there are many other methods also to optimize the solution right but this is the basic one right check with all the like 2 3 4 till number minus 1 okay and if it is divisible by any number like if i have 6 so 6 would be divisible by 2 as well as 3 right so obviously that is not a prime number okay because 6 mode 2 would be 0 if you divide 6 by 2 then remainder would be 0 so like this uh, you know formula we will apply here so how to apply this thing and 1 is not a prime number it is a composite number so you can just write down like we check for i in range range would be from 2 to that number minus 1 2 to if number is 5 then 2 to 4 we will check number minus 1 so here simply you can write down number because it will generate the range will generate if the number is 5 we are taking the number is 5 then it will generate 2 3 4 these three and these three numbers you want that's it because we know 5 would be divisible by 5 itself and 1 itself right so we check for i in this range like so if if the number whatever the number this number mode i equal to equal to 0 means it is divisible by maybe either 2 3 or 4 then it is not a prime number right so maybe simply you can write down here print it is not a prime number right and else it is not a prime number but here what do we take the general form we will take we will take a suppose variable here i am taking a variable like a number is a variable is prime equal to first i am setting it to true so if this is true this condition is true just set this variable is prime just flip this variable is prime is equal to false right this would be in this if statement would be in for loop that's it no need of else now after for loop we check we check this variable is prime if is prime is equal to is equal to still it is true means we can simply print here and else we simply print not a prime number and what about if you want to uh, uh, write down that thing also what about that one if somebody enter one then what about that thing let's suppose we simply run this program right now we are not doing any update right now right so let's run this and enter a number i am entering five it is a prime number see the number is five here number becomes five so is prime a variable that is true now for i in range two two number so it will generate two three four so first it will check the number is five five mode first time in i two would be assigned five mode two equal to equal to zero 
No, if you divide 5 by 2, then rem remainder would be 1. So, this condition is not true. So, control will not enter here. So, is prime is still true. Now, i is, I is 3. So, 5 mode 3 equal to 0? No. 5 mode 4 equal to 0? No. So, control will not enter in this if block and after we are till 4 it will because now we are in end of the range, range function right 4. So, now this whole loop is complete. Now, if is prime true? Yes, is prime is still true because control have not entered in this if block. So, yeah, it is a prime number right or rather than if is prime is equal to is equal to true, you can simply write down this thing if is prime that is also fine because is prime is true. So, both are same. But if I run this again and if I enter 1, then it is a prime number. 1 is not a prime number, we know it is a composite number, right, according to the de de definition of the prime number, right. So, now why it is showing 1 is a prime number? Because number is 1. So, range function obviously will not generate anything because 2 and number is 1, so 2 to 0 it should generate, but that is not a valid range. So, it will not generate anything, the for loop would not be executed and is prime is true still. So, now the if condition is prime is true, so control will enter here, so it will enter, it is a prime number. So, better here you write one more thing like if this number equal to equal to 1, so here we can simply flip this one, this variable is prime is equal to false. Now let us run this. Enter a number 1, see not a prime number, okay. So if this is 1, is prime becomes false and for loop would not be executed because there is no range function obviously if the number is 1. So now if this if would be checked, if is prime, no it is not true, it is false, so else would be executed and not a prime number like this. So, like this you can check if the number is prime or not, but how you can update this thing rather than checking if the number is like if the number is maybe 11. So, we have to check 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 till 10 you have to divide this whole would be executed 10 times, but there is no need. Why so? If you check uh, the number divided by 2 means 11 divided by 2 that becomes 5 point something. So, you can say let us suppose 6. So, just check till 6 if there is if the 11 is completely divisible by till 6 2 3 4 5 6 then it is not a prime number no need to check till the number minus 1 right. This is second approach I hope you got this. So, if I write down here this number divided by the range should be this number divided by 2, but 11 divided by 2 it would be some decimal. So, let us round up this number better round up this num number rather than just rounding the number right. So, use seal function. So, how to use you have to import first math module and here we can use math dot in previous video also we have used this one. So, you can check out that video, seal number divided by 2 and better do plus 1 because the range would generate whatever this number minus 1. So, here the number is suppose 6, so it will generate 2, 3, 4, 5, 1 minus and we want it should generate till that number, till that divided number, that half number. So, better to add 1 here, okay, okay, now let us run this. And if I run 2, it is a prime number. Let us run this again. 3 it is a prime number. Okay, let us take a number 6, not a prime number. So now this time complexity would become less because rather than rather than you know if the number is 11, so rather than comparing, rather than you know uh, generating this 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, till 10, it will generate only 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like this right. So, less time it will take and there are multiple methods also not just these two 
square root method is also there that also you can do so you can just search how to find out a number is prime or not an optimized solution and you can try out that thing also right okay now you have to try out this is for your assignment these two methods we have discussed one two more methods you have to find out or at least one that square root method how to check the number is prime or not with that square root method right and you can just write down that for the logic in comment section okay so i hope you have done this exercise so now in the next video we will work on a project so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care